Trinkets. 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 This is how it starts. Trinkets. Trinkets. This is how the video starts. Still really small. Yeah. Good enough. Also, it's going to be funny because if someone joins, I'm pretty sure my camera is going to be replaced with their profile picture, but whatever. Um, trinkets. Trinkets. Actually, I could probably... Let's, let's like do this. Trinkets. I don't know why I keep doing that. I, I have a new tick apparently. What the fuck? Trinkets. 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 It's just very fun to say. Trinkets. <laughs> Trinkets. Oh, by the way. Hold on. Uh, I should I should ask back to Pop Poppy Frost. Uh, uh, what, uh, Poppy Frost, what's your opinion of Dr. Pepper, first of all? Uh, do, do, you, do you care for sodas at all? Do you care for Dr. Pepper at all? Uh, the reason I ask this is because my, my current favorite of Dr. Pepper... You love soda? Okay, cool. Because my current favorite of Dr. Pepper is strawberries and cream, Dr. Pepper. It's, it's, it's like... Dr. Pepper tastes like war crimes. That's insane. That's insane to say. You might, you might need to try this one, though, if it's in your area. Because it's, it's fucking good. No, this is, hold on, this isn't strawberry, well, actually, wait, is there just a plain strawberry one? I don't remember. It's confusing, because there's a cream soda one, which is just this without the strawberry, and then strawberries and cream is the cream soda Dr. Pepper with strawberry flavoring, uh, and so that makes me wonder if there's a Dr. Pepper strawberry, like, is there an entire, is there an entire Venn diagram? whatever why is soda so spicy felt um like i I'm, I'm i'm a fan of soda but like one reason i like this one is that it has way less of that like pain carbonation um meanwhile elliot just fucking hates soda elliot just avoids soda at all costs because of the carbonation uh i i kind of i kind of um what's the word uh not feel for him What's the word? I'm, I'm jealous. That's the word I'm looking for. God. You don't like candy? That's crazy. St again, I, I'm jealous, though, because, you know, candy's bad for you. What the fuck? That was crazy on the Discord. I th That was me just resizing the window. What the hell? Does that happen every time I resize the window? Did that happen in GPM? Oh, my <laughs> Why does it look like that? No, that that did not happen. Okay, I'm guessing that's just the right now thing for some reason, which is really funny. Hey, what's up? It is time for gamer flavor. No, not that one. Hold on. No, no, no. I don't know what gamer flavor is, I should mention that. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, it's almost like this was made for this. Holy shit. It looks a little cursed on my screen. Because it's just like, I, I have it like almost full screen, and then it's just like, there's nothing. Can I send in chat? What the hell? There we go. No, come on. No. There we go. Oh, am I streaming at a lower quality than usual? I think I am. Hold on. Uh, am I crashing? Wait, no, never mind. What is happening? What? Oh, I hit the share on- they changed how that works. Okay. No, no, I didn't. It's just not- it's not working. Oh, I have this popped out. God, I fucking hate how Discord does that. Why- okay, genuine question. Why is it that when you pop out the Discord VC window and you try to switch the stream, it shows up on the main window? Like, what? Who does that? What kind of UI does that? That makes no sense. L. Um, okay, hold on. Wait, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, OBS. Oh, I can't go any higher resolution. What the hell? I think they I think they nitro paywalled further. Because I'm like 90% sure that 1080 was allowed. Right? I, I don't think it looked like this before. Having only one option for because i definitely i definitely turned it down 
intentionally at one point because of lag or something. Which means that I had multiple options, but no, they they nitro they nitroed us harder, which is awesome. Thank you, Discord, for that. Um, one option, and and they're gonna be like, well, you know, that's that's why we did the trial. That's why we did the trial. It's fine, guys. No, shut up. Uh, yeah. So 720p for you guys, I guess. Have fun with that. It's so, it's so ass looking on the screen. I'm looking at it through Discord and it's like, wow, it's actually so blurry. Also, someone tell Curve I'm gonna upload this onto the B Sides channel. Uh, I'm probably not gonna update it at all, but I mean, edit it. That's what I meant. God. Uh, <laughs> strawberries and cream, Dr Pepper. Ban Dr. Pepper. Wow. You know, I, I, I posted this in Tiny Zone, but someone... I heard of... I watched a video recently where someone was saying they watched a TikTok. We, we, got, we, got, we got meta talking here. Uh, someone realized that Dr. Pepper is like barbecue Sprite. And I fucking hate how accurate that is. Like, how is that... I don't know why it's accurate... But it is, and I don't understand it. Uh, it's especially funny because I absolutely love Dr. Pepper, and my favorite, um, my favorite chip flavor is barbecue. So like, it, it's, it's that's gotta be a thing, right? I I don't know why I said that in chat just now. Did you? What? I don't I don't, I don't know if you did. I don't know if you did. Up? What? Am I stupid? Up? Do 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 up? Hold on, sorry. I hold on. This is a stupid. This is a stupid bit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is important. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay, wait, genuinely, what? Add option. Really, everything is strawberry with Poppy Frost. True. The face when the... Oh, yeah, there it is. Bar barbecue Sprite, yeah. Salt and Vinegar Blast. Oh, yeah, I should send that song in chat, actually, real quick. Shout out, shout out to One of Tricks Point Never. I've listened to, like, none of their albums, though. That's a lie. I've listened to like two or th no three. Yeah, three. I'm getting so off topic. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what it is about just me talking that just does not work. It just doesn't work. What is that? What is it? Do you guys know what that is? This. This is the plane, like like a like a paper plane. I mean, it's a plane, and then this is the point. That's the point it's going. This is the Blountain. This is the start. That's the 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 absolute point. And then this this is the pointer point. And then uh like this is the left. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to start with this. I'm, 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 I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about random shit, okay? We're not going into any kind of order, okay? Because here's the thing. Imagine, imagine you have a plane, a plane of existence, okay? And you're like, you're like trying to shape the earth, okay? You're trying to decide what the... Yeah, and you're trying to decide what the shape of the Earth looks like, okay? And uh, uh, let's let's just say, oh hi curve, uh, curve. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Deafened. Okay. Um, <laughs> hold on, wait. Actually, is my audio coming through? Oh no, it shouldn't be. I don't know why curve is deafened, but um, herb, herb, herb. 
I hate that it's called herb. I, I want, I so badly want to pronounce the H. Herb. Herb. I just want to say the dude's name, you know? Does anyone know, does anyone here know a Herb, by the way? Like someone who actually is named Herb? I've never known a Herb at all. I've just like, I, I know that's a thing because of like movies and I just, I don't believe it. Yeah, it's a thing. I don't know. It's like an uncle name. It's like, it's it's one of those names that you can only associate with uncles. It's actually insane. Uh, okay. Anyways. Imagine you have a plane of existence. Okay. Oh yeah, Herbert. Imagine you have... Hi, Herbert. Imagine you have... Imagine you have a plane of existence, okay? And you're deciding like the shape of the earth, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna do like a side view of an area of the earth, okay? Imagine you had a plane. And let's 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 draw this, okay? Okay? Isn't that cool? Isn't that fucking awesome? Holy shit. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I need to actually real quick, I just realized I need the fucking or is it? Boom, 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 Sorry, I have it in my Firefox tab, and now I have it stuck in my head. Um, square one, loose vibes, Hall of Fame. There it is. Let's go. It's the thing. It's the fucking thing. I should probably just real quick copy paste that I don't accidentally save over this. Okay, there we go. What? Oh, my, my screen has a little... Uh, excuse me. Have a, uh. Anyways. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. No, that, I think that's just a soda moment. It might be... Is it a Dr. Pepper thing? Do people burp more when they have Dr. Pepper? That would be funny to find out. Um, I, I somehow doubt it. But, okay, anyways. We're focusing on this part for now. Uh, specifically... Um, shit. Hold on. I'm realizing this is going to be a little weird. Let's, uh, real quick... I'm going to open this into a separate thingy. And we're just gonna... Yeah. <laughs> what was that noise? Yeah. Hold on. By the way, fun fact. Um, there's no real way in Paint.net to, like, you know, make a file that you can just, like, expand easily. So, like, every time I want to make a project, uh, 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 an image file that I'm like, I don't know how big it's going to be. I'm just going to need a lot of space. I'm just like, that's too big. I picked five on accident. Just do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. We're, we're gonna we're gonna hold on. I'm going somewhere with this. I promise you. <coughs> I'm going somewhere with this. Perhaps not to hinged places, but you know, I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay. Let me let me put this the right direction. Keep what the fuck is that? I promise I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on. Okay, I just want to put these things right side up so you can tell what the hell they're supposed to be. <laughs> I can't imagine Curb trying to understand what's happening um, just based off the visuals. <laughs> you're you're going to get some demi-lore, technically. Not character lore, but... Fuck, wait, hold on. Where, where is... Come on. So true. Okay. Just, just don't worry that it's, like, all rotated, okay? Um, I'm just, I'm just... The point I'm getting at here... Hold on. It's just, like... Hold on. Yeah, like... Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Okay, good enough. Whatever. This is this is trash. This is trash to look at, but we're just not even going to worry about it, okay? Seriously, what the fuck is this? Okay. 
Okay, first of all, let me just quickly explain what the hell I just made real quick. So we have this thing, okay? This is, so I should mention, Toma, Toma is like an element. It's, 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 yeah, it's like, it's like a thing. It's an element, okay? Toma Rowan refers to the symbols and what they mean linguistically as like a language. Uh, Toma Ro is the place. And... Uh, Tomasaur is... Tomasaur are the people that, like, harness the specific forms of Toma. Uh, hold on, I'll just quickly... Place... Uh, uh, people that harness Toma. Toma is... Elements. Tomaro Place. What was the other one? Tomaro... Oh, Toma Rowan. Symbols, language. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Um, so what you're looking at right here, this is um, this is this is what's known as like the uh, the like almighty wheel and the almighty tree or whatever. Uh, well, okay, I guess it's not really the almighty wheel. Uh, almighty wheel is a uh, it's it's one of the monikers that I've used uh, specifically for mock, which is right here. Um, but th this is, this is called like the, the wheel in the tree. That's the important part. Okay. This is the tree. This is the wheel. Now it should be mentioned that all of the things in the wheel here are arranged differently from here, just for the sake of this image. Okay. You could write out the entire thing as one massive tree. However, these ones on the bottom that are colored have like their own little things going on, and so it makes more sense usually to arrange them like this. Okay, it's just it's just a different visual. So this, <laughs> this is this is my attempt. To, this is my very just like off the wall attempt to give you an idea of like how it would extend off of tau, because tau is made up of semi, demi, and hemi. Okay. Does that all make sense so far? Because, like, keep in mind, like, this is writ, and then off of writ you have hash, uh, sry, and spy off of this. Every, for every one big thing, you have three little things. I'm so confused with somehow this makes sense. I promise it will make more sense, but I'm glad you're following so far. Um, but yeah, so writ comes to... Uh, the parts of writ are this, and then the parts of tau are these three. It's just because they're colored, they're usually arranged differently in this particular visual. So, yeah. And I, I, I should really just make, like, an actual just, like, full tree image. Uh, I just don't have one on hand, so whatever. Um, anyways. Oh, my God. Curve. Curve, curve is actually insane for thinking that, like, anyone is going to be able to, like, follow up what I'm saying in a way that makes any kind of sense because I'm just like so rambly with the way I talk. But, you know, okay. So, with that all being said, just just keep that in mind, okay? Um, oh, Curve is almost done dinnering. Okay, fire. Fight, fight, fight. What the hell am I saying? So, where the hell was I going with this? Oh, yes. Okay. Back to this. Sorry. Imagine you had a plane of existence. Okay. Imagine you have a plane of existence and you're like, you're like deciding what the shape of the earth is like. Okay. Uh, for the sake of this image, I'm just going to like make a side scroller level type of image. Okay. Like you, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, excuse me. So, let's say the uh, part of the Earth looks like this, okay? From a side view. Hold on, I'm going somewhere with this, okay? If I were to give this image to someone, and I was like, okay, well, okay, first of all, I should ask, what do you guys see in this image? It's a lot, well, okay, obviously. Forget about the scary Halloween sounds. There you go. So, Poppy is more on the track that I was going with this. Uh, so, if this was a world... It is like a mountain. It looks like a kind of plane. Uh, it's a mountain, okay? 
Uh, you could think of it in different ways, but for the sake of this, it's a mountain. Uh, specifically, this is the air, and this is the floor, okay? Like, I, I could fill this out like, oh, look at how beautiful this mountain is, and oh, look at how beautiful this grass is, and etc., etc. But for the sake of what we're doing, let's just look at it from a purely minimalist level as just there there happens to be ground here and there happens to not be ground here now one thing you should mention i should mention is that in this oh yes i i have mentioned this in voice chat once one thing i should mention is that i have not really written a distinction you're just looking at a line that's it um if i were to do this all of a sudden, it looks more like a valley, because it's just the same line, but in reverse. And now, from this perspective, this looks like the ground, and this looks like the air. Okay? Just, just keep that in the back of your mind. So, basically, so, looking at this one, okay, we have the mountain, we have the air, and it's all just made by the singular line, okay? So we're going to label the floor as something. And we're going to label it as hemi because that means presence of a material, basically. It means, like, something being there, okay? Meanwhile, we're going to do this for this because that means the opposite. It means something not being there. Hemi generally meaning solid, it means ground, etc., etc. Semi generally meaning air, it means s stuff you can walk through. You get the point, okay? Um, technically, of course, if I were to zoom in a lot to like a molecule level, it's like, oh, you have all these gases and stuff, and that's all there, and blah, blah, blah. We're not worrying about that for now, okay? Because I just, you know... I'm a human, I can't, I don't have enough time to draw out all that, okay? We're just, again, we're looking at this from a purely minimalist world angle, okay? So, hi, Curb. Um, what did I miss? Oh, God, how am I gonna explain any here? I, you, you know a lot of this, I'm pretty sure, but this is the wheel, this is the tree, okay? You, you, okay? Uh, the wheel is arranged like this just simply because these are all colored, but you can, uh, and the colors act in different ways. This is trying to show a visual for things that make more sense with the colored ones. However, the tree could be written out as larger. Just ha keep that in mind. Uh, cause like, you know how writ comes together Oh, sorry. You know how these three things come together to make writ? Well, in a similar way, semi, demi, and hemi all just come together to make tau. Okay? Just keep that in mind. This is this is like a shitty version of extended of an extended tree, because I don't have an image on hand of an extended tree. It's just whatever. Don't worry about it. Just keep that in mind. Okay. And then what you're looking at right now, imagine this is like a side view of part of a world, like a side scroller level kind of thing, okay? When you look at it like this, you can see a mountain. If I were to flip it, it looks like a valley. And despite the fact that all you're seeing is just one line, okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then this would be Hemi and this would be Demi. Be oh, shit. This would be Demi, because Hemi is, like, the, uh, the existence of something. Semi is the absence of something. And so Hemi is the ground, Semi is the air. Generally speaking, we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> okay, with that all being said... Oh, God, where do I go from here? Okay, so... The thing you should keep in mind... <laughs> is that the image you're looking at is actually incorrect. And the reason for that is if you look... Uh, <laughs> if you look really closely... Hold on. If you look really closely, you can see there is technically a gap here, okay? And see, that that's a problem, because if you think about it, 
what the hell is going on here physically? If we really just keep in mind, like, those little gaps on the end, uh, like, literally, if we take this image fully literally for a second and think of it like, okay, this is the ground, this is the air, what the fuck is going on here? What is that? What's, what's going on here? Because what ends up happening is that... <laughs> What ends up happening is that it's like, okay, we have all the air, we have all the air, we have all- what the hell? Wait, this is- wait, so this is air too? What? what? Wait, so, hold on, so if this is the air, and this is the air, but this is also the ground, and this is the ground, what the hell's going on, right? This- this shouldn't be physically possible. And then with- it, like, there's just so much weird shit going on. This is an example of when Demi is failing, because this line right here is Demi. Uh, hold on, so. Okay, Demi. Demi is the thing that separates Hemi and Semi and actually gives the two meaning, because if it is not doing its job properly, example, this image with this, then it just loses meaning when you actually take it literally. It's, it, it is kind of like that, uh, the, the Klein bottle, kind of. Um, but if I were to do this, bam, the world is saved. It, it actually makes some kind of sense. Again, including, like, the... Or, I didn't say this before, but including, like, the boundaries of this image as being Demi. Then, like, okay... This makes sense. Uh, one way you can think about it is if I make a new image here. Keeping in mind that this, again, is the ground. And this is the air around it. Oops, sorry. Air around it. Then you could actually redraw this exact world as this. Oh, what the fuck? Why is it so tiny? What the hell? Why is it 95? What? Okay, we're just going to ignore that. Um... Give me a second. <laughs> Why something like that? Okay, good enough. Um, you could re redraw it as something like this. Okay? Considering that the bounds are like a line. Okay? Is that So, as you can see, this is an enclosed shape. That makes perfect sense. This is physically possible. I mean, of course, we're... Looking in two dimensions as opposed to three, so that, the, you know, there's stuff going on there with that. But you get the point. This is an enclosed shape. This is possible. Meanwhile, if we had the, how we had it before. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, wait, actually. Once. <laughs> if we had it the way we had it before, it would instead be like this. Which, if, if you know, you know. If you were talking to like a five-year-old and and you were like, hey, draw a random enclosed shape. It doesn't matter how many sides it is. It doesn't matter if it's curvy. Just draw an enclosed shape. And then they drew you that, you would be like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you, you would say that word for word. You would talk to the five-year-old and call them a fucking idiot like that. Definitely. Um, no, but yeah. So this just doesn't make sense. What the hell is going on here, right? Um, imagine, imagine an object looking like this, okay? Like, I mean, of course, you could have something like this. Like, that would make sense. <laughs> a sombrero in a box, I guess. Uh, truly amazing. Uh, this, this would make sense. This doesn't. Okay, follow me so far. Does this, does this make any ounce of sense so far? Okay. Yes. So here's, here's the, it sounds like a fever dream. Yeah, my, my dreams are weird, I'll just say that. Um, <laughs> so, here, here, here's the significance of any of this, okay? Because of this, we end up with, so here's the thing. The whole point of Demi right here, wait, hold on, let me pick a color that's more easily visible with these colored backgrounds, okay. Demi is super important. Because Demi is the line. If Demi fucks up in any way, and so it ends up just like... If, if Demi were to not exist, this and this do not have anything separating it. 
And so they collapse in on each other because they just don't have distinct meaning. They're like, it's like, at that point, why are they two different things? They're just one thing. Right? Okay. Like, what, 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 what is the difference between this and this? There isn't one, because you, it's just there. Okay. So, um, yeah, so there's no difference between, like, the ground and the sky. It's all just, like, like, um, imagine... <laughs> Again, imagine this being physically possible. This right here, what the fuck would that look like? Okay? Considering that, like... Like... Like, the, the closest thing that I can imagine is, like, maybe it's, like, the world, like, flickers between, like like a, f a fucking video game from like ground to air everywhere right there's just no there's no meaning to it and the issue is that um all of this is the basis for this tau which tau in the in in toma refers to space okay uh pi refers to time time and space time and space okay What the hell does Tau mean if this is the case? What is what would that mean? I have no idea, is the thing. Because it's like, okay, yes, you could say that it's space, but what is space defined as? Like what what is actually happening? Because it's not like it's not like anything is actually happening here. It's just like it's it's just it's just there. It's just there, and there's, like, lines for some... It's like, what is happening here? So with that in mind, this doesn't work as space. It does not work. There's, like, nothing you can do to explain it. There's nothing you can do to, ex to like, like, calculate it. There's just no... It's, it's just chaotic mess, okay? And that's a problem. That's a problem. Because it's like... You have these moments, you have these little bits, where it's like, is that one thing or is it another thing? It's almost like in a quantum state. Okay? How can something be two pla in two places at once without moving? Right? Does this make any sense? <laughs> Me trying to explain this is so weird, but I, I like... <laughs> yeah, it's like throat is... Yeah quantum shit you get it you think you lost it to be honest honestly fair um but the point I'm getting at here overall is that the thing you'll notice is that without this one thing Demi Hemi and Semi there's no difference between them they become one thing they collapse together and then as such Tau doesn't make sense because space does not have like any feasible idea of what space is. It's just like it it's just paradoxical, it doesn't make any sense. Because of that, time in relation also does not make sense cuz like time is kind of like a change of things. Basically, it's it's related to like change temporally, but also, like, there's changes in this, despite it being still. So what the hell is this, right? It doesn't really make sense. Uh, the time and space is just completely broken. And that's a problem, because that's one of these. And all these things come together <laughs> to, to make basically the three big building blocks that makes the entire world. So if this is gone, then holy shit, we're fucked. That's basically, that's the night. The entire idea here. This entire situation of one thing collapsing down and just, like, fucking up everything happens pretty much for every single sign here. Is this what a conspiracy theorist feels like? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So, 
there you go. There's there's your lesson. That was the lesson, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I feel like there was another thing I was going to mention here about Demi specifically. Oh, yes. Actually, there was something. Okay. <laughs> Don't buy you where space time doesn't exist. So... Here's one thing I should mention. Uh, this entire time, I've been assuming that Hemi is the ground and Semi is the air, because Hemi linguistically refers to existence as something, and Semi refers to absence as something. So, for Toma Rowan, Semi is used to refer to removing something, and Hemi is used to refer to creating something. However, they're technically, like, that's technically not entirely sure entirely true physically because as I showed earlier this would be a great bedtime story as I showed earlier uh, this also is a thing that could happen because of the way that lines are and the problem with this is that in this situation uh, like th this is the same world we were just dealing with and in this one this is what Hemi is now. Uh, <laughs> how am I gonna explain this? Have you guys ever have you guys ever played the game Shift on Armor Games? This this is this is like that if it were a real world thing. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this might have walkthrough person talking. Wait, hold on, what the fuck was that audio? What the fuck? I forgot about how the bass on the uh, title screen goes. What the hell? Come on. So, like, oh, look. So, like, we have... Uh, well, the colors are reversed here, but, like, this is semi, this is hemi. You have the ground, you have the air. And you're like, oh, no, you have spikes. They're scary, scary spikes. And you have the key, and they, they go through the door. But how, how the hell do they get up there? They can't jump that high. Oh, I know. Phew. So, this, this, is, this is the thing. Because... <laughs> Here, here's, here's the issue. Because although Demi does separate the two, um, nothing is actually deciding specifically that Hemi is the ground and Semi is the air. The only thing that's happening is you just have two separate kinds of a state of a thing, basically, and then you have the line going between them. And so the reality is, is that if you can manage to find a way to basically ignore Demi for like a split second and pass through the line... You will end up in basically an inverted version of the world, basically, where the ground is the air and the air is the sky. I mean, fuck. The, gr <laughs> the ground is the air and the air is the ground. Yeah, there we go. So this idea... <laughs> We're just going to ignore that, definitely. This idea of this being a mountain or a valley, uh, this actually, uh, for every mountain, there is a valley, and, like, the flip side, basically, is the way you can think of it. So, that, 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 I think that's, that's, that's Debbie Hemi Semi, for the most part, when it comes to, like, uh, physically, uh, should we talk linguistically, I guess, a little bit? Nitrum. Shout out to Nitrum. Okay. So I already alluded to this earlier, but main thing you need to keep in mind with these three linguistically. Is there no tie wait, what? Are you there's a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing everyone send the wheel in chat is so funny. Wheel. Almighty wheel. Yeah. Um, but, but, 
Thankfully, these ones are pretty simple for the most part. Uh, I, Demi's a little more d complex, but generally speaking, Hemi means to create something, Semi means to remove something. Uh, so, for example, uh, uh, like, let's just ignore all the other kinds of Tomoroan for a second. Uh, the way you grammatically do it is that you do the action and then the thing after it. Uh, basically, like coding, you can think of it that way. Uh, a lot of the stuff in um, Toma Rowan is structured like functions. Um, so it's basically like you take an action and then you plug in the option into it. And um, so... Uh, like, this, give, me, give me a phrase... That like involves removing or creating something real quick, like or just some object to remove or create. Make strawberry milk. Okay, this works. Okay, so I'm not I'm not gonna like translate the whole thing, but like <laughs> let's just let's just like say like oh this is this is strawberry. Look at this awesome strawberry, and then you have milk. Okay, <laughs> just <laughs> pretend that makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay those are in red which means that they're evil not real uh, <laughs> okay so or actually okay before we do this hold on let, 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 let's get even more cursed <laughs> let's say this is the combination of these two okay okay <laughs> this is strawberry milk. Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> just. I promise I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> the version of Tomo where you kind of just, just draw small pictures of the things you want to spend. Um, strawberry milk. And you want to make it. Oh, wait. This is a problem. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're fine. Uh,. <laughs> come on come on there we go okay strawberry milk and we want to make it so we put hemi at the front make strawberry milk <laughs> you've done it you've made strawberry milk holy shit you've said it you've you've told someone to make strawberry milk and you did it okay but here's the thing we have these two symbols, okay? Uh, like, we, we, we just did the easier one, okay? We, we, we just were like, oh, let's make and then something associated with one symbol, okay? That's easy. Well, what happens if you want to say, if you want to type it out longer, like this, basically? We, we want to use those two instead, okay? Well, there is a way to do that. And this gets into time believe it or not because we have we have time here oh god <laughs> not this shit again not this shit again <laughs> hold on hold on <laughs> he was like give me a second give me a second hold on let's uh oh what oh that's not what i'm oh okay let's just Ignore that. Uh, <laughs> wait, how should I... Uh, let's do it this way. Yes, I'm correct about this. Um, let's, just, let's, just, let's just fucking delete all this. Don't worry about it. Evil, evil me. Me if I was evil and destroyed Tomaro. Um... Go. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. 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 Hey, 
look at that. We've done it. Except we didn't, because that's fucking incorrect. Hold on. Uh, excuse me. Ignore this shitty-ass line, okay? We're, we're, we're talking about pi now. Pi is made up of teak, mock, and teak. Now, uh, you, you, which, by the way, I should mention, uh, this... Why is it not letting me type? Tomoroan Demi Mock. Why is it not talk? I didn't even think of that. Wait, no, I think I did actually. Tick. Oh, wait, oh, I. Whatever. Why is it not. Oh, I spelled Tomoroan wrong like a fucking idiot. Um. Homo Rowan. There we go. Okay. So these look similar on purpose. Because um, if you look at how... So... This is space, as we just mentioned. This is time. And time and space are directly opposite from each other uh, inside of this. Okay? Like, specifically, tau is negative polarity this and pi is positive polarity this uh we can get more specific and we can mention that hemi is positive polarity uh uh, uh tau and semi is negative polarity tau and this is the neutral plus minus if you will oh plus minus whoa it's almost like that's intentional whoa um so Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, so, uh, the thing you should keep in mind is that this and this are kind of opposites, but they're not complete opposites, because they are related to each other. They are both under this. If we were to have complete opposites, then, like, I don't even, like, it would probably be so, like, this is, let's think here. Because it's not this, because this is in the same one, so it would be, like, here, maybe? I guess. Maybe something like that. that that's another opposite. Because this is opposite of this. I don't know. Whatever. Point, point is, it doesn't really matter what is the complete opposite of another. The thing that matters is, like, at what point are two related things opposites? Okay? And for things like that, you will have... Uh, little similarities between the two. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, Demi and Mock look almost exactly the same. However, you may have also noticed that Hemi and Teak actually look pretty similar as well. And, uh, like, these ones are actually very different. <laughs> I'll just say that. But there are, um... <laughs> space is the opposite of people, maybe. Um... But yeah, this kind of thing happens everywhere. Uh, you can also see rain is very uh, flowery, it's very petally, and then you have sore on the other side, which is like this. And then, likewise, you have dull, which is very triangular, and you have log that's very abstract like that. Those kind of those kind of yin and yang things happen everywhere, basically. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so basically the point I'm getting at here, Mach is basically just Demi, but in the time area. It's the same kind of idea. Um, it's the line between Teak and Took. But trying to draw this out would be a little bit more awkward. Uh, but I am going to do it anyways, because it is possible. So, don't, don't let your imagination limit you. Okay? <laughs> What what a what a beautiful what a beautiful okay um bam there we go okay so teak generally again we're talking generally uh the, the, we'll get to that later but teak refers to the past and took refers to the future. 
Wow, why do I always draw Teak backwards? Uh, cause doing this feels a little more awkward to me. I don't know why. Uh, it, it's changed at some point and I don't know when. Uh, well, it's fine either way, I think, but. Mm. Okay. Now. It's like a timeline. Isn't that awesome? Look at this, it's like a timeline. You have the start of it and you have the end of it. Wow, wow, look at that. You have all these little points you can, of, of time that you could be on. Uh, and as you can probably guess, based on the way of doing this, uh, this timeline specifically is, uh, not Demi, what the fuck? Mock, God, I'm, ugh. Mock, this is Mock. The line itself is mock. The left arrow is teak and the right arrow is took. If you think of a timeline. Generally. Again, generally. Because uh, much cause much like with Hemian... Uh, fucking whatever. Much like with <laughs> space, you have the weirdness of like, oh, you can look at it from a different angle and it will mean something different. We'll get to that later with the time version. But... Back to strawberry milk. There is actually somewhere I'm going with this. <laughs> so, strawberry milk. <coughs> so, the most important thing you need to know linguistically about Teak and Took. Uh, Teak refers to the start, Took refers to the end. And as such, Teak and Took actually, um, uh, they act as quotes. Um, there are a couple, like, uh, uh, signs and symbols and stuff that have specific rules and teak and two are one of them um specifically for every teak there must be a took because they're considered to be like the brackets or the quotes of Toma Rowan. so in the case of something like this where you're like oh i want to i want to make strawberry milk but i i have the parts and i don't know how to let, just like combine them i don't know how to just be like oh yeah just use this one and use this one to make them. Uh, well, there's a way to do that. All you have to do is just pair them up. And the way you pair them up is you put them in brackets. Fuck, hold on. You put them in brackets. Bam, teak, strawberry milk, took. Wow, and with this, all of this acts as one big symbol, basically. And so then you can throw this in front of it. And now, bam. You have made strawberry milk this time differently. Uh, it should be also mentioned that you could technically imagine this as something like, I don't know, make strawberry and make milk, or maybe even like w w if if strawberry was an action, and then you're plugging milk into it, and then you made whatever that is, like that would technically also make sense. Um, the thing you're going to see that's very frustrating about Toma Rowan, but also very uh, uh, intentional, uh, is that there's no one meaning for pretty much every single sentence that you will find, which is a big reason why I declined to call Toma Rowan an actual con lane, because there's so many things about Toma Rowan that just does not work as a con lane. It's more of a aesthetic thing. And this is one of them, because, God, this can be taken in so many ways. Um, milk the strawberry. That's a good way to put that, uh, except that would probably be the other way around. So, like, this, that, that would mean milk the strawberry. Uh, however, annoyingly, in this context, it could also mean strawberry milk, because it is milk that is strawberry. So, like, you know... With this one, I don't know how you would strawberry the milk in, in a way that doesn't just mean strawberry milk. So I guess this one is pretty good of a way to write it. But, <sighs> oh, shove the, that's a good way to put that, I guess, maybe. Wait, uh, throw strawberries into the milk at whatever point is. Oh, that, that would probably be it. Dip the strawberry into the milk. That would make sense. Probably. Uh, anyways. Now, it should be noted that these symbols, teak and took, they do have their own meanings. 
Because as I mentioned, teak means the start of time, tuk means the end of time. So what happens if you need to refer to those? What happens if you're like, oh, I'm wanting to talk about my first day of school or something fucking stupid like that? Well, there you go. The curve, the curve is spoiling it a little bit. But um, it's it's bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. This, this is last right here because you're focusing on this toque. However, you could also s swap it out. Shit for teak. Now you might be like, what the fuck? What, what, why? And I promise there's a reason for this. Remember how earlier I said that there's some things about, um, Tomorrowan that are very, uh, um, programming languagey. This is extremely programming languagey. Uh, see one thing you'll know if you have ever tried to use pretty much any programming language is there are a lot of symbols that have special meanings. Mo probably the most famous of which is if you do backslash n when you are writing a string, a string being like a string of letters, a string of characters, a string of numbers, etc., etc. Anything you type into Discord, that is a string. And strings can include... Like, oh, this is a string. Oh, this is a string. Ooh, that's a string. But also, this is a string. That's one string. Because it includes the line break. Backslash N is used in pretty much all programming, for the most part. Uh, to act as a shorthand for a new line without having to type a new line. Because quite a lot of programming languages... Do not let you do new lines in the middle of typing, because first of all, it looks ugly. Trying to do programming while also typing a new line every time that you want to put a new line in a message, that's just so fucking annoying, genuinely. There needs to be some way that we can talk about a new line while also keeping it all on the same line. So, programming languages are like, okay, let's have this special thing called backslash n. But what happens if for some reason you want to print the letters backslash and n and not do a new line what happens because if i do this for example oh yeah it, well k lemon just did it i was trying to type and it's being annoying um bum bum i can type backslash n and it won't make a new line why is that well as as, as k lemon is showing if you do this, so I should, okay, hold on. Let me just mention real quick. This is referred to as, as an escape character, which means that basically it just kind of follows its own rules a little bit. And it kind of like, I don't know, it does special things, okay? And the N means new line. That should be mentioned. There are other ones, for example, backslash T. Backslash T sometimes means a tab. Um, backslash R means, like, uh, care- wait, no, that's not carriage return. Which one is R? I don't remember. There's a lot of them. Most of them don't matter. Uh, the hell, there's, like, backslash zero, which is, like, hex code zero or something fucking weird like that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of them. But, uh, the point I'm getting at here is that this is the escape character, which means, hey, treat this differently. And then this one after it means... Uh, what specifically you're going to do, okay? Now, the issue is is that if you ever want to type a backslash as part of a message and not do any weird coding shit, then you have an issue, because how are you going to do that? The answer is, there is a special escape character action, backslash, backslash, which literally just means display a backslash. This is displayed as just a single backslash. So if you're on Discord, you will notice if I try to do backslash backslash, it will just show one backslash because it's escape character. That that that's what it does. Uh, why does it not do a new line for that? It's confusing. Uh, it should be noted though, backslashes can be used in Discord to ignore uh, formatting. So like for example, um, if I did asterisk. Uh, uwu, and then asterisks. It um, 
italicizes it. However, if I type the same thing, but I throw a backslash at the start of it, then bam, no italicizing. It escaped the italicizing. It just was like, okay, do it literally, basically. Same idea, just kind of backwards, actually, because backslash n is like, oh, we're going to add a new line, but uh, backslashes in Discord are more like just escape it and ignore it, whatever. Point is, this idea, this idea is basically just this, actually. It's, it's that similar kind of idea. Another thing that is important Strings are usually in quotes. Hi. You have quote and you have hi quote. Okay? Now, it, I I can't it's kind of weird to explain why, but sometimes you want a situation where you have a string that has nothing in it, an empty string. Nothing. And if you do that, that's just two quotes right next to each other without any spaces in between. That's a thing. Another thing you could do is what if you wanted to print a quote inside the quote? Well, with something like that, we have a bit of an issue because we go quote and then we put a quote inside of it. And wait, hold on. That's just the empty string again. So what do we do? Well, bam, em uh, escape character. This is all considered... Oh, what the fuck? No. Come on. The part that I'm going to color in red, this is considered like the escape character bit. The backslash is not included. That's just for formatting. And the white uh, here is the, um, the, um, the quotes. So when you do this, then that prints a double quote. And yes, you can also use a single quote. But the point I'm getting at here is that this right here is the actual, this, this is literally just the same idea as this, actually. Um, the only difference is that with Teak and Took, Teak refers to the start quote specifically and Took refers to the end quote specifically. And then in between, you can have either the start or the end quote. But here it's like, it's just, there's no polarity. It's just... You have a quote or you don't have a quote. Um, so, yeah, it's basically the same idea. You're just enclosing th this is the quote, this is the quote, and then this is uh, ha having it in quotes with nothing except for another version of the quote. It just assumes it as, okay, we're going to take it literally. And so this all means teak as a character. There we go. So, for example, if we wanted to say, <laughs> if we wanted to say, let's make bad milk, okay? Let's make bad milk. Let's make gross expired milk, okay? Because clearly you guys want to make expired milk. Let's just get rid of the strawberry. Or hold on, how should I do this? Yeah, th yeah, this will work. Okay, so we're getting rid of the strawberry. Let's just get rid of all this shit. We can, uh, you get the point. Um, by the way, I should say, is this making any kind of sense at the moment? I have not checked in. Okay, cool. Um, bam. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna remove the teak here, and we're going to replace it with a toque. So this means we're going to use toque uh, as a character instead of as a quote. And we're just going to take all of this and we're going to put it down here. And then we're going to take this front bit and we're going to put it here. And then we're going to take this bit with the milk and the end and put it here. So. With this in mind, we have, we're gonna make something. What are we gonna make? Let's find out, okay? This is a teak, so that means, okay, there's a teak symbol here. Now, looking at all the teaks and tukes, we have a lot 
here, but it should be noted that this one is connected to here. For, for the first teak, you have the last toque. Because nesting, basically. Not always, because, you know, you can have, like, teak, toque, teak, toque, teak, toque, whatever. You get the point. You, you can guess how it works. It's like programming. You, I'm sure you guys have the idea of how to do it. But, so, there we go. So, this is the part we're going to make. Okay, we're gonna make all of this. What the hell does this mean though? Well, we have Teak and Took again here, and this is that Quoty Took, basically. So, all of this just means ignore the quotes, pr treat this as Took, the concept of Took. So, this is Took, and Took means end of time, it means old, it means etc., etc. Old. Milk. Make old milk. Congratulations, you have made moldy milk. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, as you can guess from the fact that this is literally so little and it's still so many teaks and tukes, uh, you better get fucking used to seeing all the teaks and tukes because they're going to show up everywhere. Literally everywhere. Um, because there is something that I actually have neglected to admit to you all. Or actually, no, 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 I have actually mentioned it. So, one thing, uh, earlier I was showing... No, actually, I guess I didn't... Okay, whatever. Point is, earlier I was showing you, oh, this is how you do strawberry milk. Make strawberry milk. Okay? Now, one thing I should mention is that... So... This is essentially like this is being nested, kind of like this. OK, does, does that make any sense? <laughs> like when you have one symbol, you don't have to enclose it if you don't want. That being said, you probably should. And the reason for this is because, as I've shown before, Things are very easy to misinterpret. They're very easy to interpret them in different ways. The likelihood that you will be understood if you just shorthand it without the uh, the brackets when you're using one thing only is so slim. It's so easy to be misinterpreted. So uh, it would often make a lot of sense to, instead of just doing Hemi, strawberry milk, you would do Hemi Teak Strawberry Milk Took. Now, it should be mentioned that one instance I can think of off the top of my head where I do not do this, and it is a very important one, is Race Law is Log Hemi. Let's talk about this. Because Race Law is Log Hemi. Let's, let's break this shit down. Let's break this down. I'm surprised I'm actually understanding how to, like, go from point to point with this. I, I have nothing planned. I'm just going... Okay. Or actually, race law is a lot. Here, I'm, I'm... Well, no, no, no. Actually, let's 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 be fun with it. Let's be fun with it. Let's... Bam, bam. No, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Ray! Where the fuck is purple? There it is. Ray! Slaw is log oh. Emmy. Oh. Nope. Nope. There we go. <laughs> you know you know that thing where it's like, oh, uh, an artist tries to make a circle. Oh, 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 that, that happens to me all the fucking time. Uh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm like using so much restraint right now to not fix is and uh, slaw on the screen right now because slaw, like it looks almost like 
this part is an L or like this and like this thing is doing that and it's like this thing isn't all the way over and it's not centered it's like oh it's annoying me but we're gonna ignore that okay whoa what the fuck so race laws log at me what the fuck is happening here so let, let's uh let's break it down here so first of all let's start with the meaning okay race laws log hemi from a literal terms from literal terms i mean means uh direction down is color white okay now uh you'll notice there's five things there so this one actually kind of makes sense uh in terms of like how long it is which is nice but direction hold on let's let's hold on how should i do this let's uh let's do direction down is uh, uh color sure whatever uh and then white <laughs> which i mean like it's a <laughs> White, you know. So here's what's happening here. First of all, let's talk about this. Um, so is. So for those that have not noticed, because uh, I, I assumed everyone know, knew this, but apparently uh, like people were surprised by this. Uh, is is spelled I-I-S with the way like the word is written, uh, which is just is with an extra I. Um, so this is this um and uh so is is ease it's technically supposed to be ease or whatever it doesn't really matter um again another reason why i don't call it a conlang is that all these fucking titles are stupid uh letters don't have titles that doesn't make sense why would they have titles um anyways is is basically like the equals okay you're saying Thing on left is thing on right. It does not act like a function. It's not like, oh, you have an action, you're going to plug in the thing. No, it's just thing on left, thing on right, bam, like that. Okay? Meanwhile, ray, in this context, means direction. And it is kind of like a function. You're plugging into ray slaw. And slot in the context of ray being direction means down. So, hold on. Conlang isn't a conlang. What? Why did I say conlang? Is Toma Rowan isn't a conlang. It's a programming language. Yeah, that's that's a very good way to put it. Actually, um, it's a it's an artful programming language. So, you could probably guess this from the way that the phrase, that the meaning of the phrase acts, but ray is, ray is acting like a function and log is also acting like a function. Is is just like an equal sign. Ray in this context means direction. And when we're talking about directions, we give it, there's, there's a lot of things you can give it. Um, now you might be wondering what, what purple? Purple. I love purple. What, what, why does that mean down? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I have issues. Um, you, 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 you probably should know this at this point that I have issues. Um, in fact, actually, let's, let's, let's take a little detour for a second and talk about, uh, how the fuck this all happened. Okay. Um, when I was younger, uh, I don't know if anyone here knows what Sploder is. Sploder was a game creation website thing uh kind of like scratch but it wasn't scratch it was a physics creator hold on let me just bring up sploder it doesn't exist anymore sadly uh r.i.p sploder um okay there, there were a bunch of different like gameplay modes the one i cared about was the physics uh puzzle maker this thing 
you you have like you can you can make uh you can make squares that fall and stuff and you can make you can make angry birds that that was one that i made a lot angry birds was the easiest one to make it was always so fucking fire to make uh you, you put you put cubes in here and it's anyways it's, it's basically just a level editor kind of thing <coughs> that you use to make your own games um i used it uh fun fact <laughs> Holy shit, this is an insane piece of lore to drop, but this is so funny. Um, I used uh, Sploder at one point to uh, to make a game called Variable Asteroids, which was like a shitty version of Asteroids, um, the arcade game. Um, Y'all probably know what I'm talking about, but just... This game, you have the ship. Wait, what? Open an image. There we go. You have the ship right here, and and it floats around and shittily. Uh, you know, I should just bring up the gameplay video, shouldn't I? Look at it go! Look at it go! It go! So it tries to shoot all the rocks. It tries to shoot as much rocks as possible, but. In addition, if you accidentally hit one of the rocks, then you get fucked. You get explode into a billion pieces and die to death. Okay. Also, if you sp uh, if you shoot a rock and it's big, it will split into tiny or it will split into a bunch of smaller rocks. Keeps doing that until it becomes like this small. In which case, it just disappears. I made a shitty version of that, where it had none of those mechanics, it was not fun at all. Um, but it did have the same physics, which is great, because clearly the best thing about asteroids is the fucking physics. Um, you were a ship, and you had asteroids around you. The asteroids uh, were just like circles, and on the circles you had answers to an algebra question. An algebra question like... Uh, uh, 1 plus 2 equals x, or x plus 2 equals 4, that kind of thing. And you had to shoot the asteroid with the correct uh, uh, answer of what the variable equals, okay? And I made a game like this in Sploder, and I made this because it was actually for a school project, of all things. Um, uh, I don't even remember what the fucking project was. We were supposed to make some project for math, and I was like, oh, can I make a, a little game? And they were like, oh, that's so cool. And um, and then I got to show my my game in front of the entire class. Uh, this was uh, grade five, by the way, for those wondering. Uh, grade, grade five in uh, US of A, so last elementary school grade. Um, how much cute floors come out of this cute? <laughs> yeah, but hold on, this is gonna get insane, okay? This is the point where it gets insane, because uh, I was showing this in front of the whole class, and, like, everyone was, like, genuinely happy to play it, and I was like, oh, I feel so good, and I was just standing around in front of the entire class, awkwardly waiting for everyone. Uh, how many years is fifth grade? Uh, the only one before that is kindergarten, and technically there is also preschool, but it wasn't required, and not everyone did it. Um, preschool was basically just daycare, um, but kindergarten, and then five after that so it was the sixth year for yeah um which let me think uh let me think i'm trying to think how old i was because um i was i was class of 2022 uh so i got out of high school in 2022 two years ago which is fucking weird to think about it felt way longer than that um i'm 21 now 20 uh so i got out at 19 um which means I got out at 15 for middle school, which means I got out at 12 for elementary school. I was 12. I was 12 in fifth grade. Okay, but um, the, the, the reason I bring up any of this, um, I was showing this game in front of the entire class and everyone was playing it, and I had already showed how to get onto the website and stuff like that, so I was just kind of like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I might as well just get on the game and play it. Uh, and I was playing the game, and it, like the game was being projected on the projector, and everyone was watching, and uh, and I was like, oh yeah, uh, there's a um, 
there's an extra cutscene at the end. Because one thing that people would do on Sploder a lot is that they would make a level that would solve itself. Like, imagine an auto level in Geometry Dash. It's like that. However, it is literally impossible for you to uh, fail it because you can set up the inputs to act however you want. So you can literally just not put inputs for that. Imagine like playing a game, like a platformer game, and one of the game levels was just like an auto level that was just supposed to act as a cutscene. That happened on Floater all the time. I did that for the last level in the game. Uh, it was literally just you had an ash, uh, a uh, ship at the top, and then you had a moon at the bottom going off the screen. Uh, and the ship would automatically fall down slowly due to gravity. And then the, the level was set up where uh, the wind condition was the ship falling onto the moon. So it was literally just like, oh, you completed the game. You've arrived onto the planet or whatever. And then, so, ship fall down, hit the moon, and then boom! And then you win the game. That's it. That's how the game ends. And uh, so I was like, okay, I've been waiting up here for like 10 minutes, waiting for everyone to complete this game. They're playing through it, whatever. People keep dying and then going back to the start because of the, how Sploder works. So I, I played through the whole thing and I was like, oh yeah, here's the ending cutscene of the game. And my teacher freaked out. My teacher freaked out. So my teacher made the argument that me showing this little cutscene at the end of the game that was not exciting at all and also was not a good reward for completing this game was and and me being the creator i was told hey don't show that to people no spoilers and they got like mad at me they got mad at me fun fact no spoilers like that one sh <laughs> i can't believe i'm admitting this so there's a lyric in new cubo uh it's it's something like um uh, no spoilers, fuck you, I'm the writer. That's that's where that comes from. <laughs> it's, it's a reference to that of all things. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's your insane uh, inside joke of the day. Also, look at this cool image of Mario. That's a fucking awesome image of Mario. Holy shit, what a cool image of Mario. Anyways, where the hell was I going with this? I don't remember why I brought up... So I do now. Okay. Sorry for that, like, weird rant. Okay, point is, uh, when I was younger, and this was not for a school project, I'm going to mention that, uh, I made a, I was going to make a game for Sploder. I made an announcement for it. It was one of those many things, uh, I, I was complaining about this last night for <laughs> Tiny Zone, because I was reflecting over my life and the people I've known, and I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, uh, when I was younger, I made an announcement for a game uh, called Squares. It was literally just called Squares. And it was that, oh, uh, I don't even remember what it was going to be. It was just like, you're a square, and all your friends are different colored squares. So basically, VVVV, and you're you're saving all the squares. It was probably just going to be VVVV. Um, but uh, I, at one point, was it tried to make a poll for who the two uh, special characters were going to be. Because uh, the whole thing with the characters was that they were different colors. And so I was like, okay, hold on. Let's see here. Give me a second. 1,000. Okay. Whatever. Oh, my, my computer is struggling. My computer does not like me. Oh, why is it actually struggling? What the hell? Wait. <laughs> why is it doing that? Close that. Close. Oh, we don't need that. And I'm gonna close all this. Uh, if you, well, hold on. Oh, wow, it's actually so laggy. What the fuck? <laughs> hold on. I'm just gonna send these in chat if you, for some reason, want them as images. I'm not gonna save them. Uh, <laughs> I hate that I'm sending this one in chat, but here you go. Uh. Oh boy. Why is it so laggy? What the fuck? It wasn't like this like a second ago. Actually insane. Strawberry milk toma. I'm gonna keep that one open. Uh, oh, we don't want to remove that one. Okay. Hold on, 
let me look at my task manager real quick. Hopefully this doesn't like reveal sensitive info or something weird like that. Ooh, why is it so upset with me? Oh my god, it's like all upset with me. Look at that. It's literally flashing every now and then. Why is it doing that? Oh, it's Discord and OBS. The fuck? Okay, hold on. With that in mind, I'm going to stop the recording for a second and get off Discord and restart it. Uh, I'll be right back.